Why are you not sailing over here, dude? Come on. I shouldn't have to do everything. It's not like it's blocked or anything. Speaking of things being blocked, you are done training. Go join Defense Fleet. I mean, China's done a phenomenal job taking all of this back. But Siam is a problem. Especially because India's leaving that open. Come on! Please! AI, pay attention! Nope, 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 nope. Recover, it's fine. That's okay. Now where are they attacking? Yes. Palembang's still secure for now. Although we do have our Malaysian forces here and they have so far not been particularly tough. I mean they are only 10 combat with so it's not really a surprise. Alright, let's get 1941 construction going. Oh man! Luckily the Japanese AI is as stupid as your allies. Yeah, you're not wrong. Hold on, hold on, hold on! Limited conscription! Manpower time! So who's done the most damage to Japan, I wonder? I mean, it's going to be China, but where am I? Hey! You can chalk up fifth place to Australia. 75,000 kills. And they have achieved... Where's Australia? Where's Australia? There they are. 9,000 losses, all of them to Japan. So pound for pound, we are kicking their ass. Another national focus. Classify aliens. Foreign subversive activities. Minus 25. Stability minus 5. Ideology drift plus 25. Change in popularity. Fashions and communism. Which would get rid of the penalties that we are facing. But that leads to a research slot which we can't really use. You know what? I think upgrading our destroyers and cruisers would be a good idea. Because we are definitely invested in upgrading our cruiser fleet. Okay, I'm happy with how the fight in New Guinea is going. We'll leave you to defend that. Leave you to defend those. We'll try and get a surround going on over here. I mean, unfortunately they are taking these two ports, but that's only two. Uh, compared to the much bigger ports that we have over here. Oh, one of you is leaving, but one of you just came back in. Okay, new factories. I think more close air support. We're going to really double down on air power. Speaking of doubling down on air power, let's double down on the air power. Now, where's my close air support uh, crew at the moment? Eastern China. And you are still, I think, useful over here. Are you? Our efficiency over here is 
51 per small. What's your efficiency? 41% actually. No, that's not terrible. Um, so yeah, we'll keep you there. And unfortunately that is... I was going to say that's using up a lot of aircraft. But that's not actually true. Soviets are just not buckling. This is good. This is very good. Manpower. And with manpower comes new ships. And with new ships comes the ability to oops, train. K, not L. I don't know why I keep pressing L all over a sudden. You're attacking here, which is unfortunate. Ah, but we have reinforcements coming in. Go, 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 go. Yes! No! Ha ha! I didn't join the fight. All right, now we have to defend two provinces instead of the one. Which probably means that we also need to send some troops over that way. And definitely means that we need to start putting some close air support here. So let's make this another 50 air wing. It looks like we've actually got full air coverage, so that's good. You're trying to do a naval invasion of Moresby. Uh-uh-uh. Uh-uh-uh. Nope. Not allowing it. Denied. So the attack on Moresby is actually going annoyingly well. Last stand it. Re uh, resources I have... Manpower to retake territories? I really don't. Oh man, Brunei is under heavy attack as well. <laughs> China, you'd better be making good use of the fact that I'm absorbing so many Japanese attacks right now. That was a naval battle. Which involved their entire fleet, and yet we sank a submarine and two destroyers. Go cruisers! I'm really hoping that you're going to repair now. Yes, you are. Good. <laughs> Victor Crutchley, level four. Fleet protector, protector. Screening efficiency and superior tactician. Unfortunately, he does not have fly swatter, which is what actually leads to, you know, cruiser commander. Um, you don't really use destroyers. Torpedoes you don't really use. I mean, hunter killer would be useful. Yeah, I think I will take those. Maybe Lone Wolf and Smokescreen. Okay, that should improve you somewhat. Particularly when it comes to sinking submarines. You're on fire, man. Go repair. More construction available, so Papua is building more air bases. Um, the main plan is just to pin them until they get into position. Where hopefully they can start holding. I think what I might do is... can do is build some more factories and some more shipyards which I think is what I'm going to do yep I'm beginning to hate that sound another naval invasion 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 guess what another naval invasion 
Oh yeah, where is the Tabaruk Division? I don't even know where they are. Oh yeah, there they are. The rats of Tabaruk. Uh, congratulations, you are joining... them. Haha! <laughs> the Desert Fox Army! Seems appropriate. We're about to lose the airbase here. Nothing I can really do about that. Netherlands, could you please move your government to Indonesia? Still not doing it. I mean, getting more aluminium in Suriname, fair enough. The Dutch Air Force is also quite good, but... Argh! Meanwhile, China is fighting back. I have delivered almost 3,000 guns to China now. And we are actually delivering guns to Guangxi. With 5% efficiency, but they are getting a trickle. Iceland has capitulated. Winston Churchill has announced the cowardly Icelandic nation could no longer withstand the pressure from the overwhelming presence of British forces. It's the longest I've seen China survive. Yeah, China's doing good. Better than Indonesia is, anyway. Back over here again. And we're running low on fuel again. Uh, we will buy some more from the Soviets, because I don't think we're getting any intercepted. That's us sending to other people. Yeah, that's us trying to send to China. And our convoy escort in that area is not exactly effective. Yeah, speaking of which, how's the mining going? 600 mines in Java. So this is going to be intercept interrupting their supply pretty substantially. Not to mention Java. You go clear them out. Yeah, unfortunately they're coming into Batavia. Going to be causing some problems there. Although, haha! <laughs> um, I'm seeing an opportunity here. Cavalry! Ah, oh, damn, he just showed up. I can get out here. I could cut all of this off. Because they're not going to have Batavia, and so long as we can hold on to this... Which also gave us our airbase. Hold on, hold on. This is a big deal. I'm going to put a 100 strong air wing here on air superiority. I'm also going to redeploy sod it, both of my close air supports here. And we're going to really double down on this because this is an important fight now. Especially soy buyer. They've seen the danger, they're backing off. Northcott falls ill. Which one's Northcott? Uh, you. You're the Moresby garrison. Um, that's probably alright. 
I just need you to go and clear up those Japanese again. Do the circuit. Indian calls for independence have intensified lately. Now things have come to a head as the radical quit India movement has called for the United Kingdom to leave the country as quickly as possible. British authorities were quick to react, however, and have cracked down on the movement, arresting several leaders in dawn raids on homes across India. Which is going to start India moving towards independence. Yeah, so this cavalry should be able to clear this area out pretty nicely. That. Killing those Japanese as they do. We can retake Hollandia, that would be a big deal. need to hold on to this until these guys are actually out of supply. Being a little bit too aggressive is not a good idea here. So I just need you to back off. Need you to keep them pinned down. Need you to hold. Run away! Run away! Gotcha. You stop. Okay. Yeah, they'll take some of this land back, but hopefully we can hold. It might actually be worth trying to send some more troops that way. Um, nah, but who? The age-old question, but who? Who do we have that could be used in that situation? Like... Attack on Hollandia is going nicely. We just took the port here. He wants to move somewhere else. He can move somewhere else. Oh, no, he can't. He's going to reinforce that. Not you. And you need to press that attack and actually win. Go! Right, more stuff. What do we have? I mean, this is going to be more plain. So, actually, we could go for more motorized. Keep that speed bonus going up, hopefully. Um, so, if we take a look at the cavalry divisions, can we start... Oh, no, 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 no. We need field hospitals in these. Yeah, that's a big problem. Okay. Um, do something like that. How oh, they cut us in half? Oh, this is terrible. Well, shoot. Wasn't watching, and now we've gone and lost these two. Uh, <laughs> no, I'm not going to risk building a naval base there. Those two are basically dead. There's nothing I can do about that. But you know what I could do? Oh, well, now this is cheeky and I like it. We're going to build some transport planes just in case we come across this situation again in the future. Because then I can just supply that by air. And now we are going to build. It's basically got to be these. We don't have any Malaysians left. Hopefully you're going to take Hollandia. Boom! Okay, Papua New Guinea, they have no bases. The battle for Papua New Guinea is over. Unfortunately, the battle for Sumatra is, <laughs> is really starting to heat up a bit. But hopefully once we've got Papua New Guinea, we can uh, reassign some of the troops that we have here over there. And that would be golden. Don't attack, actually. Even. It's fine. They'll starve. Uh, 
Um, let's go for the logistics bonus. Not that I really need it right now. Battle! Oh no, we lost another cruiser. Damn it. Do we have any left? Yes, yes we do. No, I didn't save the field hospital on purpose. We didn't have the support equipment for it. So when I was looking at it to do the support, uh, the field hospital support equipment, we would have been minus 500, which would actually reduce the strength of that unit in general. So while we had more than enough motorized, we didn't have the support, which is why I then switched to more support equipment production. But what we could probably do is start build or start trying to switch these guys over to motorized. For which we would only have a very small shortage. And once we're fully motorized, we're going to be very fast. Watch Siam finally join, push into Singapore. Uh, that would actually be very bad for them. Because it would open up the entire front with Burma. And we actually have troops down here. <laughs> like, I really want to use these soldiers elsewhere. But because the danger from Siam is so great. And because of the importance of Malaya over, say, Sumat for me um, yeah we're, we're defending that <laughs> we're defending it strongly yeah unfortunately all of this is getting supplied again so Batavia might well fall I don't think there's very much I can do about that uh, mobile infantry yeah, I think they're mostly mechanized as much as I would like to use tanks, I can't really see us doing it. But I'm very pleased with New Guinea and how we've taken that back. How are the Chinese doing? The Chinese are struggling again in another offensive going on over here, I think. And uh, the Allies are actually being pushed back. They're starting to retake Albania. It's because you've massively over-saturated this area. The Soviets, however, pushing into Slovakia. Not really being pushed. In fact, I think they are pushing back. Like, Minsk never fell. Riga never fell. Riga is OP. Um, wait. Japanese convoys in the English Channel. What? Yep, here comes the attack on Batavia, and this would be a big loss. And if they get the crossing here, that's going to be another big loss. But I just don't have the troops to defend that. Like, this is, this is a Dutch problem now. They have troops around. They should be able to participate in that type of thing. 688 mines. This feels really weird, not using more lines. I always have a massive go at people who don't use lines to defend stuff, but here I'm just like, <laughs> I really don't have the capacity to do this, so it's not happening. Although we are going to put a line here, because you're basically responsible for defending this. And then whoever's in charge of Indonesia is no longer worrying about that. Which now means you only need eight divisions. Oh, fantastic, we can give another one to Batavia. Perfect. You, join Batavia. Why can't I click on Batavia? Hello. You. There we go. And another research slot. We do still need to get assembly line production, but generally this is going quite well now. Uh, 42. It is 42, so we need that extra research. Let's do it. And we did finish our operation. 
So we have now successfully infiltrated the Japanese Navy. So we should get a heck of a lot more information about what their Navy is doing. You know what? I wonder if we could start causing problems for Japan and Korea. Or Manchuria. Oh no, Manchuko is a puppet. Or China. Hmm. That's one thing that we could do. We could start, like, causing resistance issues in China. Never seen the spy stuff. How does it work? Eh. You put a spy in, you tell them what to do, it does it. <laughs> That's all there is to it. It's it's quite basic. So basically what we're doing at the moment is we have spies working on creating intel networks. So we have three spies building an intel network in Japan. The intel network is basically a currency you can then spend on operations. Operations are things like making contact with the resistance and building up resistance uh, strength. And then you can over time increase the funding that you have of the resistance to make them more effective and then cause Japan to require more troops to garrison this area and also just cause them more passive damage over time, which can become pretty lethal. And Japan is already kind of overstretched. So this might actually not be a bad idea. So if we go to the intelligence agency, what I want to do is make resistance contacts, which we can actually do right now. It requires 40 intel. We have 57. So I'm going to say go ahead and do that. We can then choose who we want to do to have do this. I think I'm basically going to say you two. Comments when ready. This will cost us nothing. This is free. It'll just take 117 days. And off it goes. Can you do more complicated stuff like killing the leader and stuff? That's where I'm a little bit disappointed. Um, it's very basic. It, it seems to have the tools to do a lot more with it, but right now it, it doesn't. The one thing which I really do like about Intel is the Intel Ledger. So the amount of information you have in the four different branches, so we've got uh, Civilian, which tells you about their manpower, their fuel supplies, the number of convoys, factories, and at higher levels it will tell you where exactly different factories are. So if we zoom in on Japan, we can say that Choku, for example, has three civilians, uh, six militaries, five dockyards, seven infrastructure. So if we wanted to have strategic bombers, we would know where various factories are and we could target our strat bombers a lot more effectively. Then you've also got the army infrastructure, uh, Army Intel, which will tell you how many divisions they have. Eventually, it will give you a breakdown of what those division templates are like, so you could actually see what they're using. You can see their command staff. You can even look at technology, which if we go to the Navy, we could click on Naval, and it will show us what they've researched technologically. Like, I really like the Intel. This this level of depth that they've done for the Intel is fantastic. It's just a little shame that the, uh, the rest of operations are so lackluster in comparison. Then we've got the Air Force, where you can see how many planes they have. You can see where the aircraft are operational. Um, it's a little bit limited, just because the Air Force in this game is limited. But the Navy Intel and the Civilian Intel in particular are really good. And actually the Army Intel is good, because it will show you eventually where all the divisions deployed.